and half cash. You can still use um, farms and stuff. And make money off of them. Sometimes you need to. I really need to upgrade that guy as well. I think I need to upgrade that guy. Um, but you're going to get that lull in chimps where <clears throat> you're waiting for, for an upgrade. And it's like, okay, this is that, and that's when you get your hero down. If they're an expensive one. The other thing too is the way their leveling up works is... So you've got this yeah. buy that you can make, right? And you can push them up to level 10 immediately. Which is great for early game. Now you can't do that in chimps. Um, but then they'll start leveling slower because it's like an RPG. You're killing, you know, low level stuff when you're a high level. You get almost no experience. Same things happens in reverse when you drop a hero late you're now weak and you're killing higher level stuff and so you, that experience is leveling you up faster. So a lot of times playing a weak hero doesn't, uh, like a late hero doesn't matter when you get to the, the part of the game that counts, you know, at the end. Um, where it does matter, like specifically, is if you need a hero's ability for a certain way, if you know. Um, or Eddian. Uh, you know, if you're wanting that camo out for everyone, or just having Edian's camo himself. Are you having a late lunch, man, without hair? You better not be starving yourself. dinner around 10 p.m. Wow, he's staying up late and starting work late and ending work late. That's so sad, ending work late. Ah, oh, that's really summertime. Sun until 10 p.m. Whoa. Downside is you have dark at 4 p.m. in winter. Wow, that's that's early. Shooter. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. There we go. Sharpshooter achieved. Yeah, that's definitely where you um, 
probably... Is that with or without daylight savings? Yes. Hey, nothing, man. Thanks for the biddies. Oh, no, um, I mean, you have daylight savings where you live is means you, that's with daylight savings, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you do, yeah. So... That means that the sun is uh, artificially up an extra hour compared to what it would be if you didn't have daylight savings. Um. <clears throat> the idea is that it's to try and, you know, it also, because of that, makes, uh, makes it rise <clears throat> an hour later to try and keep it dark and let people sleep in and have more sunlight during the productive part of their day. But I can imagine that if your sun's up until um, 10, probably you know, sunrise is probably fairly early anyway. Wow, midnight sun? Yeah, that's something else. <laughs> Everybody goes to work at the same time. Well, yeah, but you imagine if... Um, so what happens is the way we live our lives these days, we don't go to bed when the sun goes down. We go to bed based on work and TV and other things. So if you didn't have daylight savings, the sun would be up an hour earlier, which makes it a lot harder to sleep in the morning. Probably upgrade something we've got some monies and I shouldn't be um, hanging out for that dude I think I should, oh actually we could go for a let's go for one of these dudes I think there will be good oh I missed it by a little bit <clears throat> Yeah, most people do. They look at it from the evening perspective. Um, they don't think about the morning one. We've had... There's been trials here for daylight savings a few times. It always doesn't make it through. And I'm on the sort of the fence that if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it, it doesn't. But it would, would be kind of nice because... In summer, the sun goes down. If you were to go, like, it's right at that time where if you're out and about, the sun goes down while you're out and it gets cold. You know, we have a climate that is, is cold without sun. Um, usually. So you're out on the beach enjoying a, a nice um, summer dinner or, you know, just sitting somewhere like a nice little sort of diner area, you know, roadside service and stuff, you know, with tables and whatnot. And then all of a sudden you start shivering because it was really warm and you're wearing shorts and a shirt and you kind of wish you were wearing jeans and long and long sleeves now. Whereas if you that extra hour in the evening to sort of just you know, have an extra drink, maybe dessert. And conversely in the morning, the sun comes up just at that right time where you, you just wish it didn't. Like, man, if only the sun could be come up an hour later. Now, oh, where'd we get all the money from again? 
put out another one of those guys. Oh, we could hang out for one of these boys. Let's do that. Yeah, some extra cuddles. You know, the puppers roll over as soon as the as soon as the um, as soon as light creaks through the window. Got to get those puppy snuggles in. Three doggos. Well, funny thing is, Chloe Chloe doesn't sleep on the bed. She, she wants to sleep at the foot of the bed, like off the foot of the bed, uh, on her on her blanket. Hey, we did it, chat. Um, and, and Pepper is not a snuggler except when she wants to fall asleep, and then she'll um, she'll let you lie there while she chooses where she's going to lean up against you. You know, like, and don't try to move or try to move her or the deal's off. Yeah, so kind of her. <clears throat> Occasionally, though, you get you catch her in a moment where she loses concentration and you manage to get, um, get a good hug in. And then when she notices, she just breathes really deeply. Like, she'll... I had, she was on the couch um, earlier today and I sort of sat down next to her and she wasn't paying attention and I, um, I got my arm in under her and I was able to just sort of sit there and you know had her scooped up like this and she was asleep and I was just you know had something on the telly and I was just giving her a belly rub and she woke up and she realized she's all <laughs> and then she sort of got up and, and walked away as if to say you stupid human you know, and then demanded a treat, which I gave her, but um, 